feet. Now, besides triggering sounds like I was doing with all the different ribbon controllers and the D-beam and the, and the pads themselves, I can have them manipulate parameters. In this case, I have a patch that has, that's called talking drum. And a talking drum is, uh, and some people call it a squeeze drum, because you put it between your arm, and as you squeeze it, you, when you play it, the pitch gets higher because you're pulling the head tighter. Well, we can do the same thing here, except to manipulate the pitch, I can use the pressure-sensitive pads. I can use the ribbon controller, or I can use the D-beam. So I'm using all those controllers to, to manipulate different parameters versus just triggering sounds. Now you might have noticed too that the Hansonic is, Hansonic is extremely sensitive and it's very dynamic you know, and it has to be for you to be able to play just with your hands and your fingers. For example, I'll show you one patch. This is a frame drum patch. You can see how I can just use my fingers to manipulate the sounds. So you can see how that works. And even things with, like, for example, tabla sounds as well. So you can see how that works. Again, just using your fingers to be able to do that.